Take a can of soda and shake it up. Probably not the smartest thing to do in the world, right? Why? Well, because of the carbon dioxide inside. It's that tingly stuff on your tongue. Uh, carbon dioxide produces those bubbles and it explodes. Here's a can that I haven't shaken yet. <laughs> yet. Watch. Let me open this up here like this and pour it into the glass that you see down here. Look at where the bubbles attach themselves. See, as we pour it in like this, on this clear glass, you can see the bubbles hook to the sides. That's really important to remember because as they hook to the sides there like that, those bubbles, they're hooking to little imperfections on the side called nucleation points. It's exactly what happens with the can. When you shake the can up like that, you take some of the dissolved carbon dioxide, take it out of solution, and they hook onto the sides of the cans. Now you know this. When somebody does this, they think that they are somehow taking the carbonation down. They're not. In fact, this does nothing. If you want to move, like from a shaken can, if you want to move those bubbles, you simply snap the sides like this. If you snap all the way around like this, you're now moving the bubbles that were on the sides that would normally get big and push all the liquid out to the very top. So if you're right, you should be able to open it up with no problem at all. Cross your fingers. It works. So the next time you see somebody tapping the top of the can, just remind them, tap the side of the can, and everything will be right. You'll never forget this one. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your Science Minute.